going on? Y'all already know what time it is, honey. It is Christmas time. And y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. First, I would like to say I am so sorry <laughs> that this video is coming at this time because here we about to see episode three of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm just now giving y'all my recap and thoughts on episode two. Y'all, listen, it is not my fault, okay? This is the second time I'm recording this video, okay? I recorded this video two days ago, okay? However, comma, y'all know I'm starting with humble beginnings, okay? I have my iPhone, limited storage. Listen, we will get to more and more extravagant equipment, but as of right now, I'm a small YouTuber, so I'm going to use what I got. Okay, until I price out and see what I can get. Okay, period. So first, I would like to thank all of you all who are new to the channel. Welcome. My name is Chrissy. And today we are talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, because this channel is for caps and reviews on shows and or movies that we like to watch. We also talk about some current events and we also talk about some social issues as well here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and share, let everybody know I exist. Go ahead and hit that notification bell and go ahead and leave me a comment. Why? Because y'all know I like to socialize. Holla at me. Let me know how y'all feeling out there. Let me know how your weekend went. I am fresh off of a mini vacation okay um and if you look at my community tab you'll see some pictures i dropped okay um so let's get into this before this video becomes too long and then we have this same situation over again so we start off where we left off okay we're at sonia husband's party okay the ross's 40th bash birthday bash okay we got two things going on okay on one side of the room we got miss kenya miss sheree and miss monietta discussing the things about sheree's man <laughs> friend <laughs> friend man okay and then we got on the other side of the room we got miss sonia miss candy and miss courtney okay there's an issue going on with candy and courtney it's, it's a lot of b words being thrown it's a lot of head button being threatened and you know marlo somewhere in the middle eavesdropping and ear hustling okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this so we go over here to Miss Sheree and Miss Kenya and Miss Manietta, and they have just informed Sheree that they heard in the streets that Martel, okay, Mr. Holt, is out here dibbing and dabbing with other women, okay? And also, Miss Kenya let Miss Sheree know that uh, he slid into her DMs, right? So we got Miss Sheree. She like, well, how long ago was it? What's going on? Where she at? She ain't, she ain't here. Uh, uh, oh, he, he cheating on me. I'm a Ferrari. She a Toyota. Child. <laughs> so we got Mr. Martel now coming over, right? So she tells Martel, oh, you the hot top. And he like, me? And she said, yeah, you. Okay, you. And she goes and she's informed him of what they told her, right? That he out here dating other women. Now, Mr. Martell, does he deny that? No. He says, hey, every time I'm out in Atlanta, I'm with you. So the other girl, she getting a short hand of, or a short end of the stick. Now, <laughs> Miss Sheree, you asked for proof. Okay, you asked for receipts. You got it from the source. You got it from the horse's mouth. Some will say you got it from the dog's mouth himself that he's out here dibbing and dabbing with other women. Okay? So, there you go. <laughs> Looking pitiful. Okay? Come on, pink. We go to the other side of the room. Okay? Candy and Courtney. Courtney bouncing all around. Okay? Miss Candy threatening to headbutt people. Okay? It's, it's, it's a mess. Okay? And Sonya somewhere in the middle being fake and phony. So... <laughs> So, you know, Candy, she she walk all the way, okay? She go over there because, you know, Todd, he ain't too far. He the security husband. And I love that about Todd. He makes sure she, look, when you get too rowdy, we need you to, okay, come to the left. So, somebody asked Candy what happened. So, she going off and this and the that. And, oh, she, she, she bouncing in my face. She bouncing in my face. Okay, Candy is on a thousand, okay? She has been activated, okay? So, then Sonya, she goes and she talks to uh, Courtney. And she like, look, okay, 
Uh, and, and Marlo, they, you know, now she wants to join now the candy in the exit at stage left because she don't want no smoke. She over there talking to Courtney and trying to figure out, okay, look, everything was going well until the end and it went left. So I'm going to go see how Candy is doing. So she leave Courtney and Marlo, you know, because Marlo done um, uh, uh, gas lit the situation and instigated it and, and told Courtney and put a battery in her back and told Courtney to go over to Candy and, you know, get some straightening. Okay. She got some straightening. <laughs> Candy was about to straighten that out. He go over to Candy and she like, look, are you okay? And you know, Candy, you know how you do when you mad, but you don't want to seem like you mad, but it's clearly that you mad. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where she come from with all this. Okay. And so you're like, look, girl, I, look, I didn't know she, uh, I told her she was doing too much. I did not know she was going to be coming in on 10. Okay. I just met her at Sheree house last week. Okay. So then Don Juan, he come out of nowhere. Cause you know, he ain't too far behind. Okay. The candy coated click is in effect. And he said, oh, 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 that's why she was bouncing. Cause she's Sheree friend. She need to be bouncing to the factory to, uh, to pack some clothes. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Don Juan, he tickles me. He irritates me and he tickles me. Okay? Child, so we go back to the other side of the room, right? And we still talking with, with Martel. Martel out here telling on himself, you know, because he ain't too bright. And, um, you know, Mom Yetta, she say, oh, so um, the, the other party, the other lady, she's not existent anymore and he said no she not she not it she not in the picture period is what i'm saying okay so my to say okay say less one minute <laughs> <laughs> so then miss sheree she says in her confessionals honey that you know kenya and her minions you know again got some got some tea on martel but if they are out here talking about me what else is they doing and sheree here's the thing okay it's not that they out here talking about you it's the streets the streets is talking about you <laughs> and apparently the streets is right because martel did not debunk or deny that he was out here frolicking around now the fact that she did not pick that up or we didn't see that she picked that up is a little um questionable to me miss sheree now i already told y'all i don't think this is look i already told y'all this relationship is a scheme that Sheree Martel and Carlos that came to us <laughs> with the bull. Okay, I already told y'all. This is fake. Okay, this is all fake. However, we got to deal with it and talk about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it, right? Because she ain't got nothing else going on. <laughs> so, you know, <sighs> Sheree, listen, whether you are demotized like Miss Kenya says, or you just like, look, we need to go ahead and keep this man in, in, the, in the picture. I need him. Okay. I ain't got nothing else going on. I need him. Okay. Whether it's wh wh whichever way it is. You all here looking stupid. You looking like a clown in front of millions and millions of people or thousands and thousands of people. However many is watching this episode or this season because we already know the relationship is fake. Okay. We know that. All right. Now, whether you knew we were going to find this out or not, I don't know. But child, listen. You out here looking like a clown. And we, you know, pan back over to um, um, Candy, you know, Courtney and Sonia situation, child. So, you know, you know, Candy trying to figure out why she blasts at it. You know what I'm saying? She like, listen, why didn't Sonia tell me that this girl had an issue with me? Okay. Why didn't she not tell me this? Why didn't she not make me aware that we are both going to be at this party and that the girl had an issue so I could be aware and not walk into no mess. And I agree, but you know how Sonya get down, honey? She he 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 with whatever she, you know, dealing with and she go tell what she want to go tell because then we saw that after that situation, she had to tell it across the room <laughs> to tell Sheree, Candy, uh, Kenya, excuse me, and Marnetta that Candy over here about to, about to tear up her party and, and headbutt Courtney and fight her child. Now, I don't like the fact how she went over there and relayed the conversation and the situation, okay? Because they already say Candy is ghetto and hood and got a short fuse and she don't know how to act. When you said, oh, she over there, y'all, y'all wouldn't believe what just happened, y'all. Y'all wouldn't believe just, just, what just happened. Uh, 
Candy about to fight Courtney. Why did you relay it like that? You know what I'm saying? Why do you say Courtney done, 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 activated Candy by acting crazy and Candy checked her? Why do you say that? Chill. So, so everybody trying to figure out what's going on with Candy. So we see Kenya and Mongetta, they go over to Candy and be like, girl, what happened? We okay? What's going on? What's going on? So then Candy like, yo, like, you know, this and the third, she bouncing in my face and, you know, and Kenya and Mongetta do agree that Courtney is animated. Okay. She like to do all of this. Okay. And somebody going to chin check her one day, but hey, Candy almost did it, but we know we don't want no lawsuits. Okay. When she say that, we see Sheree coming over with Courtney and Toe. And I love when Kenya do this. I love it. I love it. Okay, this is what a friend's supposed to do. Sonya, take note. Kenya see it. And she already know there's a situation with old girl. So she turn around and blocks Candy in, pro in a protective manner. Like, hold on, wait. My friend is upset. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out why you bringing her in her space. Sheree said, well, I don't, I don't know what happened. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. So then Candy, she said, can we just not relive this right now? <laughs> Candy tired of repeating herself on what happened. She tried to calm down. Okay. The vein in her forehead is just receded and she don't want to bring it back out. So she like, look, we just not going to relieve, relive this right now. We don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, so then while all this is happening, you know, because Sonia, she, she trying to navigate through her party, honey. She's trying to make sure fireworks are going off. Not so much so that they tear up her $100,000 party, okay? Because she like, look, I don't know if my event insurance going to cover this. <laughs> so she go off, she changed, honey. And she come back with a new outfit, you know, in hopes to change the vibe. But little did she know, this party about to go from sugar to sugar real quick so once that happens right Sheree she brings up the fact that apparently they told me apparently in these streets or with what's been going on and what's being said about Martell is that he out here dating other women and I'm just trying to figure out what's going on what's T right so then uh candy said well you always want to know what's going on she said i do always want to know what's going on however i don't want bits and pieces of the story i want the whole enchilada give me the receipts okay come on miss mariah give me the receipts okay <laughs> so then sonia okay said well y'all i'm out i'm out i done did my job i done look <laughs> I don't look, I did my job. It's time for me to go enjoy the party because it's my husband's party. Because Kenya like, well, why are you leaving? And I want to know why too. Because if you had enough time to run from one side of the room to the other side of the room to tell them something happened on the other side of the room, you got a little bit more time to see this happen too, girl. But I guess Sonya, she decides she just wants to, you know, enjoy her husband's party. Because, you know, meanwhile, Ralph... He, you know, living his best life, you know, gifting Ross some white Hennessy cigar. So, Ross, listen, Aaron is good, okay? He is enjoying the party. He is oblivious to what's going on. Sonya, I don't think you being around him right now is going to bring more life to, to what he got going on. He looked like he enjoying it very well. Candy, she say, okay, well, look, look, okay, that's neither here nor there, um, how do you feel, Miss Sheree, about Martell messaging Miss Kenya in the DMs? So then um, Sheree say, well, did you accept it? Asking Kenya, did you accept it? Kenya say, no, because I don't follow him. Why would I accept a, a message from somebody I don't follow? So then uh, we see Martell coming over, okay, because he ain't too far. Because he like, look, y'all ain't about to discuss me without me because y'all going to find out things about me that I don't want Sheree to know about me. So he comes over, right? And <clears throat> Sheree tells or asks him, did you DM 
can you? Because she's saying that you DM'd her. So then he say, oh, well, uh, 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 well, well, put, I mean, show it. Like, is this, is this you? Is this your phone? Now, this is when I really love Miss Mongetta. Why? Because Mongetta is me and me is she, okay? She navigating the whole situation, okay? She show us your right where the message is, when he sent it, how it was sent, <laughs> it was erased, there it go, right there, you see it. <laughs> right there, girl, you see it, stroll up, there, right there. Diggle. You know, Martel, he getting all flustered. He like, well, can she can she, can she talk? First of all, sir, you too elevated. Calm it down. Because see, when you get elevated like that, it means you're guilty. Somebody need to tell him that. Kenya, she tells Martel, because he is a little too close to her. She like, you, you a little aggressive, Martel. I mean, I'm scared of you. So then Martel, he say, well, if somebody is accusing you of something, wouldn't you want to defend yourself? Now, defending is different from being offensive or uh, 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 instead of your point of trying to look, I'm right, I'm right. No. I mean, it is what it is. Two years ago, you were not with Sheree, okay? And if you slid in the DM, you slid in the DM. Just say that, okay? But don't sit here and get all up in arms because you're telling on yourself. You're telling on yourself, dude. And then he further tells on himself in a few moments, but we'll get there in a second. So, you know, he getting all aggressive and he getting all this. Like, Martel, if you were shopping your peen around, just say I was shopping my peen around these Atlanta streets because I'm trying to get on the show, bigger than the show I'm on, so I can show my ex-wife that I'm with it. <laughs> Period. Because all the competition with Melanie, that's what it all comes back to. We all know it. We all see it. Can you say, I'm not accusing you of anything. And Martel say, well, go to her messages right now because she probably accepts um, all the messages. Well, that's not true because she didn't accept yours. <laughs> is you mad? Is you mad that you wanted Miss Kenya more? But because Miss Kenya watched your show and she know what you about and know what you owe, she stood clear and said, eh, eh, eh. no, you mad. Come on, Martel, stop acting like that. You're looking very much a petty queen, okay? So, <laughs> so then Kenya said, well, hold on, what you trying to say? What you trying to say? Oh, so now he's ins insulting me? Trying to trying to say I accept DMs from everybody. So really? So then he so then she asked him, so are you denying that you sent me a message? He said, Yeah, I'm denying it. So then Candy said, Oh, skirt, skirt. Girl, he said he denied it, girl. Pull it up. He 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 found his phone real fast. He's fumbling. He fumbling. He like, hold up, let me let me see. Did I? Did I? Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did. I did, I did DM you. And it wasn't six months ago. It was two years ago. So I think in this moment, he was trying to blow a flex. Because later on in the episode, uh, Miss Sheree states that, you know, they talked about everything. And he informed her that he did, you know, reach out to Kenya um in the dms before he made her aware so i don't know if he was trying to flex or try to say oh well let, let me let me drop this bomb because she lied she said it was six months ago she said at least six months ago so it was six months or longer that's the at least part of it martel see if <laughs> that's why you can't pass some tests so then he brings the phone right and he puts it in everybody's face see see that was aggressive too you don't have to do all that okay you could have said look i did I did message you, and the message said, da 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 da. You don't have to see, see, putting in candy face, see, see. Candy like, child, bye. <laughs> but anyway, they put a picture up of the message, okay? And it says, you know, thank you for the kind words. I appreciate the kind words when you were live with Blank. We all know Blank was Carlos, okay? They done said it that she was apparently on an interview with Carlos, and she said apparently some nice things he was thanking her for. Here's the thing. If that was all it was, and it was not flirtatious like Miss Sheree said, why did you drop the whole, if I wanted to F you or if, if I wanted to smash you two years ago, why are you bringing it up? <sighs> See, this is what they were trying to convey that Miss Kenya was out here trying to sabotage the relationship 
or situation ship that they're trying to portray to us. But in real case, Martel, we just saw what we already see on your show. You're aggressive. You're you're definitely a hothead. And when it comes to women, you are no holds bar. You got all the energy in the world when it comes to women. Period. That's all we saw. That's all we saw. So then Kenya, she 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 like, oh, so you cursing at me now? You, you cursing at me now? So you just cursed at me? So she said, oh, so that's how you act when you got a queen standing in front of you? <laughs> you are a piece of, you are an ass, and you just, you cheating on your ex-wife, and you gonna do it to Sheree. Oh, Martel said, it's six months ago, all while being held back. See, this is the thing. Why are you needing to be held back? And I so love the fact that Todd, who he had, what he talked about, okay? He had so much to say about Todd. Todd was right there like, okay, we ain't about to do this, though. You ain't about to step over here, though. You know what I'm saying? My yet husband, he, he right there, too. He blocking. He making sure she's straight. And that's what I love about, oh, I love that. Sheree, she goes over to Kenya, and she like, oh, well, it's, and she like, no, Sheree. No, 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 Sheree. Because he's giving you the same type of behavior that Bob did, and you not, you, you not seeing the signs. So just go on, go, go on somewhere, child. So it end up, okay, they leaving the party, party's over, they leave, okay, and, and they in the car now, and Martel still bumping his gums about how, if she a queen, I'm a king, I just want to be respected, and you, gonna, you want me to respect, you gotta respect me, and I ain't apologizing for nothing, because I meant what I said, okay, sounding just like a queen. So then we go over to Miss Drew's house, okay, she's back in town from visiting her father and being with family in Chicago, and Drew lets us know that her father is dealing with Alzheimer's okay and you know she you know basically says that she's been battling and dealing with it um you know as i'm pretty sure anybody would that's dealing with a loved one let alone a parent dealing with that disease so my heart really goes out to her um but we see her come back and she informs you know um ralph on how you know he's doing and his condition and where he is now in this stage and you know she goes in a confessional and she says that you know it's really hard on her you know definitely when it comes to you know um um him remembering her and you know it's really hard on her mom and they think of you know think about her mom and you know wanting to make sure she's okay mentally and emotionally and all the things um but she says it's really hard because he doesn't really remember or know her and she goes then to say that you know she can't believe that he's in a wheelchair now because when he came into the facility he was walking so it, it, it's it's giving he's deteriorating um but she did say and she did show a video of him listening to one of her records um and listening to her sing and we saw him perk up and smile and say ah oh, sing it i thought that was just so sweet i love that and you know drew says that that's their connection is music he was in a musical group in high school and she feels like she's living his dream you know now that she's now you know trying to break out into the music industry and she says that she's been in the music industry all her life well music has been a part of her life you know all her life writing and singing um, and she goes on to say that she's been signed to multiple, you know, labels like Slip and Slide Records. She's been in girl groups called Mo Tempo, which she was apparently the Beyonce of. Hello. <laughs> and, you know, we just we just seeing Drew go through this process of caring for family, you know, while also, um, you know, doing the best she can with starting this musical career and going through the path with that and then we also see her and appears to be at this moment which we know now they're they're you know seeking divorce but you know her and Ralph at this time seemed like they were at a great space so it was, it, that was good to see um I love how Ralph is you know supporting her with the music even though he ain't supporting her with what he need to support her on but you know he you know encourages her says she's super talented he apparently is producing and writing music Ciao. <laughs> and uh, acquired minds would love to ask and i'm sorry i have to i'm, I'm sorry I, I would really love this to be a beautiful moment but i call i gotta call a spade a spade now ralph for you to be supportive of her music career which will bring monetary value why aren't you there for her when she needs you the most when she's dealing with family as you call it a crisis 
you rather went to a birthday party that he will have years to come. This isn't his big one. His big one is his 50th. That's the big one. That's the that's the half mark. That's where you need to be there. 40th? Really? No. You should have been with your wife. And the fact that you are there when it comes to the music, which will bring money in, but you're not there for her when she needs you emotionally to withstand and to be successful in this moment, is giving pause. Any event, it was good to see that, you know, Drew is going through this with grace and optimism. And it's good to see. So now we go to Miss Sonia, honey. She mean with, with, with Miss Kansy, okay? They're going to get denter. And, you know, <clears throat> they come in, they greet each other. Sonia asks, you know, how you feeling? How you doing? Can you say, oh. I mean, Candy, excuse me. Candy say, oh, girl, just busy running like a crazy woman, you know, doing my taxes and and and, and reading over contracts. I was supposed to have a chill day. The day was supposed to be my off day, but I'm doing all this stuff. So, so then, you know, Sonia, she asks or says that her son, um, Deuce, remembers Blaze, her daughter, because apparently they went to Disney. Okay, Candy had invited them to go out to Disney for spring break. And apparently Sonia is the only one out of the group of ladies who she invited that came with her family. So they spent time together. So Candy says she really enjoys Sonia and her family. So then Sonia, she asked, well, girl, when the next trip? Candy said, girl, child. <laughs> I, look, this last past year, I have not had time to do nothing. Okay, nothing fun at all. Candy, she asked Sonia, how's family life? How's that going? And Sonia said, child. <laughs> Sonia, she goes in to say how her husband, Aaron, is now ready for the family to, you know, be on their own, okay? It's not about the family being there, meaning her mom, her dad, her sister, her husband and their boys being in the house. It's about them standing alone and, you know, building something within the in initial unit. So Sonia, she said, look, he ready to be the man in the house. He ready to be the king of the castle. He ready to have his house back as he should. So then Sonia then goes on to say that her mom is mentioning that she wants to live in Florida because that's where her heart is. And Candy said, well, what's your sister? What's your sister doing? And she said, oh, my sister's sick of us. <laughs> she tired of us, okay? She been raped though. So this my thing, Sonia, because then she goes in to say that, you know, oh, well, my family, you know, we're supposed to get together and, and build and this and that. And Sonia, you can do that with them not living. They do not have to live in the house for y'all to still build and continue to grow. Like they can live other places. It seems like to me, Sonia, is that you feel like there is nothing else it's more satisfying than to take care of your family and to see them every day. That's what it's giving. It's giving like, I have to feel needed. I have to feel like I got my family's back. Y'all better Skype, Zoom. Y'all can do projects from y'all. They're not that far away. Florida from Georgia, that's not that far away. You can fly out and see her. You can, you know, whatever. You can do that. You can Zoom. If y'all have new projects coming on, y'all can do y'all can do it from there. She doesn't have to be in the house with you, Sonia. Let them go. Candy, you know, because Sonia asked Candy how her family doing. And, you know, Candy fills her in about how Ty has all these projects and he wants her to be a part of it. But, you know, she has things she has going on and she, you know, having trouble juggling it all. And, you know, Todd feels like, look, I didn't help you with what you wanted to do and the project and the things you want to do now it's time for you to help me now what i don't under what i don't think todd understands is that the things that he's helped candy pursue and things and projects she's doing it still needs her constant attention it's not like it's something that she can just drop and just go do what you gotta do real quick <laughs> she can't do that it's ongoing projects and stuff that she needs to continue to have her attention on. And sometimes that can be hard. And that might be something that Candy wanted to do. And kudos for Todd for taking a break on his dream to help her pursue hers. But Todd, you need to understand that her dreams, like the music, the the um, the different types of ventures Candy has going on as far as acting, as, as far as, you know, other ventures she got going on, needs her constant attention. You can't take a year or two off to dedicate to you. You were able to do it at that time. You were able to take a step back and do it. She can't. Y'all done had kids. 
<laughs> they need attention too. It's not as easy as it may seem. So I think honestly, Candy does need to possibly bring people in if possible to kind of take the weight off of her so she can be more attentive and be there for Todd. Um, because I, like Kenya, would hate to see them going down divorce court because I love the Tuckers. They are cute. Um, I love them together. Their children are adorable. And I love the unit. But Candy, too many people are in your family, too many people in your family are telling you need to slow down. And I think you may need to adhere to the warning because I think that's what they are. Okay. They talk about the party, child. Sonya asked her, well, really, how did you feel about a party overall? And Candy said it was fun. Well, until Bobblehead <laughs> came into the party. What was up with that? What was up with her? So Sonya, she tells her that prior to that moment, she actually met Courtney over at Sheree House. And she had told them some things about her. Apparently, there was some type of event at the Tropa Cali. I don't know what that is, but that's what it was at. And I guess Candy was supposed to do an appearance or a hosting or something. And she put it on her story that she was going to be there. So Miss Courtney then tells them that the next week after, I guess, she left or after she posted it, a whole bunch of ghetto people were there. Now, my thing is this, Miss Courtney. What is ghetto? Ghetto meaning black? Or ghetto meaning like what what is ghetto? What's 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 ghetto? Like the way she said ghetto. Like is it is it that they were too black? Was that the case? Like were they not uppity and white and or you know, you know, uppity black, uppity negroes? Like was that the case? Like what is what is ghetto? And for Sheree to then say that they are strict, the, the establishment is strict. If they got in, they ain't that strict and they ain't have no problem with them coming in their establishment. So what do you mean by ghetto? Anyway, we see Sonya cackling, <laughs> sniggling and cackling, okay? <laughs> Candy asked her, well, when she said that, what did you say? And here goes Sonya, stutter, 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 stutter. I, 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 I said that Candy is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Candy say, child, I doubt it. Okay, she been over there with Sheree and Marlo for far too long. And she probably over there, you know, sniggling and cackling, okay? Because you know how they do. And she's like, hee, hee, hee. Y'all so, so wrong. Y'all ain't right. She, <laughs> she definitely, most definitely called it clear because uh, that's exactly what she was doing. Hee, hee. So then Sonya, she says, well, look. I said, you know, Candy is my friend and you need to talk to her. <laughs> Child, so then Candy, she asked her, well, that's how you, that's how you defend me when somebody called me ghetto. And so he said, well, she wasn't really calling you ghetto. She was saying like your followers were ghetto. <laughs> Birds of a feather flock. So if I come out and the people that come out to support me is a certain type of way. Evidently, they identify me in some, they identify with me in some type of way. So if you're calling my followers or my fans ghetto, that's a direct reflection of me. So she was calling Candy ghetto. You When you throw Miss Sonia on the carpet, honey, she wants no parts. She ain't trying to vacuum it. She ain't trying to sweep it. She ain't trying to do nothing, okay? She's trying to skirt, skirt, skirt to the left, okay? After that, you know, we see Sonya, she FaceTiming with Aaron. He's out in Austin doing the Ross Elite program. I guess it's some type of sporting type thing because we know he is an ex-NFL player. And, you know, they're talking about having a second child. And Sonya's saying, well, look, if you over there and I'm over here, how can we practice? How can we do this thing? And, you know, she's saying her confessionals that, you know, she's keeping hope alive and she definitely wants the next baby. She feels like she's in a better space. But if he's over there and I'm over here... You know, I don't know how that's going to work, but if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Ciao. So then we go over to Blaze Restaurant. We have Candy and Todd. They coming over. Todd wants to bring her over to try some new food that he's shaking up the menu. And he wants her to try the new things that he's adding to the menu. So they go in and, you know, um, they sit down and Todd um, basically asks her, you ready for this Mexican restaurant? <laughs> she like... No, <laughs> because the restaurant they sitting in ain't nobody there. Crickets. <laughs> Candy like, look, 
in her confession, she like, look, Blaze is a beautiful restaurant. And it is. Okay, the decor is on point. I would love to sit, sit there on those velvet green seats. It was the bomb in there. However, Candy say, look, after the pan, pan, panda, panda, <laughs> panda, panda, okay, it, you know, we need to rebuild, okay? It was a hot area before the situation. Now, after the situation, we need to rebuild. We need to bring in more revenue. And all I can think about is the next restaurante, okay? So, Candy, she asked him, well, um, why would you open up another restaurant? Like, you want to do production and movies? Like, your passion is to be creative. And he like, yeah, yeah. However, I've never made as much money as I've made in doing restaurants. She said, oh, so it's a money thing? And he said, yeah basically you know what i'm saying if i could stack my money up you know i could actually finance my own film my own movie so we're gonna do the mexican restaurant and then we're gonna do aces pizza <laughs> then we see her cousin come in her cousin of course we know was the victim of the incident at the restaurant so he comes in and sits down because todd wants him to um you know try the new items on the menu as well apparently he is the chef or the kitchen manager or something okay so they go down they sit down they check in with him he said he good taking it one day at a time that's all you can do and then you know todd say look we about to try this food so when they bring the food out production steps in and say um we gonna talk about the elephant in the room and kenny said no we ain't talking about that and he said well why <laughs> and todd said look this that that's still a legal situation we don't want to say anything that can possibly derail it or mess it up or whatever whatever so the person's like yeah yeah right right so then they cut and then we see all the blog posts of course we know what happened uh, or heard what happened at candy's restaurant okay there was some violence done there and her cousin ended up being um physically hurt so then we see Ken Kenya, she states that she hates that it happened at her restaurant. You never want to hear that happen, but definitely at a friend's establishment. We see Sonia saying, you know, you definitely don't want something like that happening at your business. You know, it's awful. And then we get to Ms. Sheree. And she said, well, you, you don't know if you're going in the old lady gang, if you're getting biscuits or... <laughs> now, Sheree... It did not happen at that establishment. It happened at Blaze. So the fact that you are Miss Exclamation Port, Miss, Miss informing the people, the masses, that it happened at another establishment. What if people ran with that and now their next establishment, their business goes down? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> And Candy, she goes in, and, you know, in her confessional, she said, look, there was a gentleman that came to work late, you know, um, and, and, and intoxicated and got into it with my cousin. They stepped outside and he he let it off. He let off a couple rounds. OK, my cousin got hit. So <clears throat> then, you know, she she then goes on to say that she hates that that happened because you don't want anything like that you know, being associated with any of your business. However, she is grateful that even though that happened, people are still supporting her. So she's very grateful. So now we go over to Miss Kenya, honey. She is meeting up with Miss Akila. They taking their girls out who appear to be very best friends to go play some tennis. Okay, Brooklyn is too, 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 too cute. And Miss Akila, little baby, is adorable as well. And we see how Miss Kenya is now letting Miss Akila know what happened at the party. So, child, Miss Kenya is, you know, catching up with Miss Akila. And, you know, she tells her how she is so proud of her and that she loves the relationship that she has with her husband. And she envies that. So then, you know, Miss Akila said, girl, it will happen for you. Like, you know, but I see that you're happy now. Like, I see that you're doing good. And Miss Kenya said, well, it could be because of the gentleman in my life. And Akila said, Did I, do I know the gentleman? She said, yeah. So then she goes in, she tells us about KMC, okay? King of, CEO of, Kale Me Crazy, okay? She loves the fact that he is tall, funny, kind, you know, nice on the eyes, attractive, and she's enjoying herself, okay? She feels alive again, okay? And we are very much supportive of that because we all hate Mark. <laughs> Miss Kenya, she said, well, let me tell you I, uh, about this party. So Kenya said, yeah, what, what, what happened? So then Kenya, she fills her in on everything that happened about, you know, her and Martell getting into it. You know, she let it out the bed that he DM'd her. And Miss uh, Kenya said, was this the first time you meeting him? And she's like, yeah. And she was like, wow, really? 
So while this is going on, you know, Miss Sonia is now meeting with Sheree, okay? Because we all know once she leaves Candy, she always go back to Sheree. <laughs> So then Miss Sonia, she was Sheree and, you know, they catching up and things like that. And, you know, they go over what happened at the party because Sonia said, well, Candy told me that Martell's, you know, DM Kenya. So then so, uh, Sheree, she says, girl, it, it was a mess. You know, she called him aggressive. And so he said, oh, so like she called Ross aggressive. Why are we labeling these men? Now, do I feel like, Ross, or excuse me, Aaron was aggressive when he said, hey, 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 back up off my wife. No, I do not. He was not aggressive. He was checking the situation because he saw his wife starting to crumble. So he wanted to step in. Martell was aggressive. Martell was up in the face, too close and personal, putting phones in people's face. That was aggressive. Ross was on the other side of him and said, hey, let off my wife. Let off on her. That was not aggressive. So I do believe that she mislabeled him, but she did not mislabel Martell by far. So as she going through all that, you know, Sheree still has not picked up the fact that he done said, if I wanted to F you two years ago, why did what? Because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of you did. She ain't picked that up though yet. She still ain't, it still ain't registered. Maybe it'll register next season or by the reunion maybe when they do a flashback. <laughs> She tells Sonia that she don't like the fact that they give her half information and, you know, not all the receipts. But I'm like, you don't need no receipts. He told you he was dipping and dabbling in the streets. He told you, girl. So Kenya, she says, you know, me and Sheree have been friends for this long. You know, it makes no sense why we can't sit down and have a talk about it. So now let's go about to talk about it. Okay. We at the warehouse of Sheba Sheree where there's nobody but two people in there. <laughs> She goes and she sees that her product is wrinkled, right? She's like, they, they, they're packing it? They, they're packing this? They're packing this when it's wrinkled? Child, you know, she don't like to pay nobody. You only got two people in there? You can only afford two people for your, for your clothing, line, design, ship, shipping. Two people? How many... How many orders you think they about to get out in the hours, in the eight hours? <laughs> Where have you paying them that long? <laughs> Child's over there looking like Stormy Child. Ooh. I'm about to call the labor bureau, honey. They out here working these people like they in sweatshops. No, the young lady said, well, look, I personally would like to steam this so that the customer does not get wrinkled product. So then Sheree, she asked the question of, do that cost more? <laughs> Is that expensive? <laughs> and the other lady say, well, of course. You know how many things you shipping or how many clothes you have to steam? Yeah, that's going to be expensive. So then she go, well, y'all yeah, know I'm on a budget, y'all. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Sheree, stop being cheap. You in that big chateau of a sh the chateau of it all out there in Atlanta. And now you out here trying to have a clothing line and you out here boasting about you was on cloud 10,010 because you got all this support. You should be making that money back. Invest in your business. If that's something you have to do to make sure that people get quality product. I'm going to tell you one thing. If my stuff come wrinkled and I don't pay $60 for a sweatshirt and it can't at least come where I, it's nice and pressed, I can just throw that sucker on. I got to iron it or throw it in or dry it or press it. Like, no. <laughs> got to get it. At least, look, Walmart stuff compressed. So then we see Miss Kenya. She come in and she asked Sheree, well, are you doing quality control or, or what you doing? Sheree said, well, no, I do it all. I do it all. Why well, there's two women there helping her. I do it all. I, I do it all. Well, you need to go get the steamer and start steaming up. <laughs> start steaming them clothes. So then, you know, Sheree, she look at, she like, oh, that looks like a Dallas star. And then they zoom in on each other. I'm like, oh, it do. Sheree said, yeah, 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 it, it does. It, it does. Now, let's talk about something else because we don't want no cease and desist. So <laughs> she said, well, yeah, you did a commercial with them. And she said, 
yes, you know, I went out there to LA and, you know, some of the cowboys were there. We saw Prescott. He was a good looking man. So then, <laughs> so then, you know, they get off that subject real quick. And, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Sheree, she asked Kenya, well, what's going on with this guy that Mongetta has set you up with? How they going? And she's like, oh, it's so going so great. It's going so well. I feel alive. He's so funny. He's so sweet. He's so this. He's so bad. And I love seeing Kenya happy. I'm sorry, because I do not like Mark. <laughs> so I don't care if Kenya is happy with the dirt in the corner, honey. Go on, girl. Um, then, you know, um, Kenya, she asked Sheree, well, I heard you being claimed now. I heard you out here being claimed. What's going on with that? And she said, no, we're dating too. We're not putting no labels on anything. Sheree, please. <laughs> please okay don't look don't try to make it seem like it ain't all that now when you was probably throwing it down these girl faces how you was you know you being with martel okay y'all calling the paparazzi to come to the to, to the park with y'all to see y'all walker dog y'all going to the beach y'all hugging y'all doing all dance you poking your butt out yeah girl please so then people say it don't look like y'all just dating do y'all have things in common and Sheree said, yeah, we do. You know, we both Capricorns. His birthday two days after mine. <laughs> That's the only thing y'all got in common. So then, you know, quit, uh, Kenya, excuse me, Kenya, she says, well, that's funny. I get along with Capricorns. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not getting along with him. And she say, what makes you think you're not going to get along with Martel? And she say, um, <laughs> like, Sheree, were you not there at the party? You don't remember nothing. So then Sheree said, well, let's talk about that. What happened, girl? What is going on? And he said, well, he went off on me. He started cussing at me. What do you What do you mean? And it's supposed to be bros over hoes anyway. So Sheree said, no, hoes? And she said, no, in this situation, we bros. He the hoe. Sheree, she goes in and say, well, look, y'all, y'all, look, he was, he came to support. He came to see everybody. He did not come to get ambushed. And he said, we did not ambush him. There was no ambush. He was being aggressive. He was being abusive. And it didn't call for all that. It, no, it didn't call for all that. He was doing too much. And I don't want to get to know him. And that's that. <laughs> so then Sheree, she said, well, no, y'all, y'all can get along. Y'all can get along. Cause Sheree like, look, I need him to be invited to these, these group outings. I don't want to be by myself. <laughs> I need him to be a part. I need him to be a part of this season as long as possible. Because you see, I ain't selling nothing. I need something to fall back on. Now, so they go back and forth, back and forth. You know, Kenya said, look, he being aggressive. He doing too much. I don't want no parts. He Look, he acting just like Bob. Okay, he doing, and you not learning from nothing from that situation. You ain't learn, you ain't gonna learn, and that's that, okay? And Sheree, she said, oh, look, well, both of y'all was getting elevated. You were going off as well, and if you can defend yourself in that matter, he should be able to do the same thing. And can you like, well, no, 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 no. I did not get to that point until he took me there, <laughs> which I agree. He was getting, uh, Kenya was very like, uh-huh okay like she was not going crazy but we know how kenya can do we know she got all the energy all the smoke <laughs> for everybody but mark but she got all the smoke okay we saw miss kenya she stood where she stood she did not approach him she did not put nothing in his face she was standing there having a conversation he was bouncing all around everybody showing phones and and this and that and and claiming she out here you know claiming all these messages like he know what she be claiming and even when she brought that up she said no i don't remember that i'm so glad bravo was petty just as petty as me and they <laughs> did that flashback of him saying it right there in her face and she looked right up at him when he said it Ciao. So, you know, they decide to agree to disagree because Kenya won't know parts and Sheree just don't understand, okay? She won't the D. She won't him to be a part of this situation, okay? They got a contract or something going on, child. Look, you're going to be my man for <laughs> six to five. Look, three to six months, you're going to be my man and then we're going to dwindle off by month seven and then we're going to break up by month eight. <laughs> I need something this season. I need some time to work on what I need to come with next season, okay? Because I have nothing. Child, 
So let me know how y'all felt about this episode. This episode was a lot, okay? Um, I stand 100% with Miss Kenya Martell gets to go. I'm so sick of him. <laughs> I'm so, between his show, which we will recap, I'm, I'm, that's the next one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that video, y'all. I'm going to get it out as, quick as quickly as I can, I promise. But we tired of him over there and we tired of him over here. <laughs> we just tired. Get him away. <laughs> I'm sick of him. Y'all, let me know how y'all felt about this episode, okay? Let me know how y'all felt about Courtney and Candy, okay? Yes, we know Courtney is doing too much, and I'm ready for Courtney to go, because I'm so sick of her. Already, girl, it's only episode two, and we ready for you to go. <sighs> Child, if Sheree was going to use her as a backup, <laughs> she failed the mission. <laughs> Child, okay? How y'all feel about, you know, Miss Sonia being fake to Miss Candy? <laughs> how y'all feel about that and how y'all feel about Sheree and Kenya and how they their interaction do y'all feel like Kenya was doing too much or do y'all feel like Sheree is being blindsided okay how do y'all feel about that let me know down in the comments go ahead and like comment subscribe y'all know I'm on my first milestone to 1000 subscribers again I love you all thank you so much for being patient with me and as always y'all know what time it is honey it's Chris and I'll see you on the next video, okay?